now you want to move on to the power rankings. Let's do the power rankings, folks. Perfect. Yeah, it's the time of the Woo! week, guys. We like to rank the goddamn teams, everybody. Coming in at number 10, we have the Milwaukee Brewers, 53 and 43. Uh, I think that they need something else right now. I think that they need yeah. to make a move at the trade deadline because it's like they've just been around this area, and I think that they're better than that. Their offense is actually better than their pitching this year, which is kind of questionable. That's weird. Yeah, it's like they're ninth in OPS this season, which is actually pretty good for them. Yeah, that but, is good. But it's just like, I don't know. Something's not right about this team, and I feel like they haven't hit their stride yet. So yeah. they need but something. I think their pitching needs to get better, and then their offense, I guess, just keep it up. But you see, you see, that's the difference. Last year, it was, it was the pitching was so dominant, yeah. and the offense is so bad, but they were better. Yeah. You'll find a common theme in pitching and offense in this power rating. Yeah, race. yeah, exactly. So, Brewers, you're 10, but I'm not loving anything you're doing right now. Number nine is the Seattle Mariners, guys. So, they dropped a few spots this oh, yeah. week. Now, they were red freaking hot yeah, coming were. into the All Star break. And it's just like, this was a bad, like, this is not the way that I wanted them to enter into the second half. They got swept. They got swept by the Astros, you know, and I know it's, it's, the, it's Astros. the Astros, but this is the team that you're going to be playing. This is a potential team that you could be playing in the playoffs, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? It's like, if you're going to get swept by that, like, you got embarrassed after you were 14 and 0. Yeah. You, like, come on, you got to be better than that. Kind of the worst time for an all-star break, in my opinion. Yeah. Because they, they them, got caught yes. off guard. Yes, they yeah. absolutely got caught off guard, but that's why you're going to find Astros a lot higher than the Seattle Mariners, and mm -hmm. you got to beat a good team eventually, right? So Again, swept, not good enough. Mm -hmm. Blue Jays coming in at number eight. Let's go! Yeah, let's go baby. We moved up two spots. Strong arguments could be made for us to be higher, but I'm going to be honest. I didn't want to push us too high yet because I'm a very skeptical Blue Jays fan. I don't want to like overreact right now and then have to do the same thing yeah. with the Mariners and drop, drop us down. Them. So I'm moving us up slowly. I'm moving us up steadily right, right, right now. And there are some reasons the team ahead of us, you know, and the two or well, the multiple teams ahead of us are going to have some better pitching than we do. Pitching is still questionable for me, but obviously offense is really kicking ass right yeah. now. We're third in OPS. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I can't agree more with that. Like pitching is the name of the game, and uh, everyone is way better. Mm -hmm. uh, number seven. This is a guy that's have a better pitching. Surprisingly, uh, Tampa Bay. Ray they're fourth in, in ERA, ERA. I... And, and they have a very similar record. They only half a game back from us, but they are ahead of us just because of that pitching. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, Tampa Bay Rays, they're just fucking pesky guys, and, like, we haven't really been able to annihilate them at all this season, and I just want to, like, you know, I just want to crush that freaking mosquito that keeps bugging around your ear and stuff, and you have fourth in ERA with no confirmed ace, like, who, well, I guess Shane McClanahan. Yeah, but Shane like, McClanahan. But it's like, yeah, yeah. who else is on your freaking team, you know? Like, well, what is what is going on there? So, yeah, you guys are really good at baseball, and I imagine that we'll see you in the postseason. Mm -hmm. Who's number six? Mm -hmm. Number six is the San Diego Padres. They're 54 and 43. Now, they, they've been just kind of going like average. They're mm -hmm. 5 and 5 in the last 10. You know, they did move up two spots this week. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, eighth in ERA. That eighth is the in big, ERA. That's a big note. And, and also, too, I think part of the reason why they're a bit higher right now is, one, Tati is beginning that rehab like he should be coming back sooner rather than later and I just know that the San Diego Padres they are gonna make moves come trade deadline like if they do acquire a Juan Soto for instance like this is how could you possibly ignore this team right now and I'm not saying that they're gonna get that guy but they will be acquiring some guys and like it's gonna it's gonna come right so mm -hmm. 54 wins they're gonna get a lot more than that well another team that's gonna get a few guys this trade deadline you gotta bet on it is the New York Mets coming uh -huh. in at number five yeah uh, now this this is where the tiers Rates. It's it it it's changed. Changes. It changed from like yeah. there's a big gap between the Padres, I think, and yeah. the Mets right now. Oh, like, 100%. It is definitely a sizable gap. Hundred percent. You know, the Mets have with fifty nine wins, six and four in their last ten, and mm -hmm. yeah, the pitching's amazing. And uh, Degrom is actually starting his He's rehab. Starting his He's rehab. starting his rehab. I just got a notification, yeah. so he should be back sooner rather than later. And like, all, like, is there a better is there a better reinforcement to have? Oh, no, you know, like not no. really, right? It's like that is basically a confirmed win every five days, so that's yeah. huge for them. Huge. Number four is the Atlanta Braves. They're just slightly better in like pretty much all the categories in the Mets right now, even though they're one game back. So I really like them. Their offense is phenomenal. They're clicking on all cylinders. Austin Riley, you know a lot oh, about him. Oh, fantasy. fantasy team. He's going crazy right now, guys. Smacking so many homers. I think he's touching 30. Not 30 yet, but like 28. It's amazing. He is a very, very good baseball player, man. And that lineup is super scary. Mm -hmm. This is a team I do not want to see in the playoffs. Like They just look dangerous. 
dangerous to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then this is where the tiers get even higher. Yeah. This is another tier, guys. At number three, we got the Houston Astros, who, yes, we mentioned before, just swept the Seattle Mariners. They're actually on a five-game win streak right now. Mm -hmm. And I feel like every time we do power rankings, and I, I love grabbing the last ten, they're always like seven and three. They're always just always. consistently doing good. Doesn't matter who they're playing. Like, hey, we've seen them beat the Yankees more times than not. Yeah. Year. They're the only yeah. team that's like really had the Yankees yeah. number, and that is very important this yep. season, you know? So they've been phenomenal, man, across the board, pitching and offense. They're great. They just sw they just swept the mm -hmm. hottest team in baseball, mm -hmm. you know, coming there into this go. thing. Doesn't so, matter who they face. It seems like they can beat them. They can beat them, dude. Number two, and finally dethroned, oh! is the New York Yankees, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Finally, finally. I mean, like, like... Just the other team in front of them. I mean, you know, you guys know who it is, but like they're just catching up in the record wise. Yankees are still doing very good. I don't want to take anything away from them, but they're just not as dominant as they were like in Dude, June. They feel like in the last three weeks they've been playing 500 ball. Again, mm -hmm. grab the last 10. It feels like five and five, four and six, six yeah, and four. Like it's yeah. like they're just 500 ball and they just also lost Michael King. Exactly. Huge piece of their bullpen. So they drop a spot because, look, they're just kind of just doing okay. Yeah. And the team that's in number one is the hottest team in yeah. baseball. Yeah, LA Dodgers, they're number one in ERA, they're number one in OPS, they're 9-1 and one in their last 10. It feels like they're always like 8-2, 9-1. Like, yeah. Fucking so good at baseball, yeah. man. And like, again, you want to talk about teams that are going to acquire people at the deadline, oh. they are obviously going to do that. Like, oh. would not be surprised to see Frankie Montas in a Dodger uniform very, very mm -hmm. soon. So, mm -hmm. they're number one, they're the team to beat right now, but those are your power rankings yes. for this week.